<laughs> Praise the Lord. But they not go ahead here. AKA brother of the Jew. Brother says we turn our Bibles to Romans chapter 8. We'll be looking at verse 17. And it reads, If children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so, be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. May the Lord had a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great work, taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. Our brother is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> 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 Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, in Romans chapter 8, verse 17, we see the apostle Paul write, and if children, if children of Abba are Abba Father, he says this, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. And this speaks about when you believe on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you're a child of God. You're a child of Abba, our Abba Father. You're heirs of our Abba Father. And you are joint heirs with Christ Jesus, the resurrected Lord Jesus Christ that is seated at the right hand of God, forever making intercessions for us. When you believe our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That is your identity, and that's what you have in Christ Jesus. And when when you believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that is being a, a justification. It's a justification where you are saved, you are forgiven of the penalties of your sins. Penalties of your sins in the past, penalties of sins that you do it. Currently, current penalties of sins that you're going to do because you believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and now you're a child of God, heirs of God, joint heirs with Christ Jesus, the resurrected Lord Jesus Christ, seated at the right hand of the Father. And this 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 justification is your justification is because the penalties of your sins have been forgiven. So then uh, uh, the Apostle Paul then goes to this next level. We said, if so, be that we suffer with him. This speaks about now you're walking out this, this truth of who you are in Christ Jesus because you, you, you've you got been justification. You've been saved from the penalties of your sins. You've been forgiven from the penalties and because you believe on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And you walk out that truth. You walk out that reality. You walk out that established principle, that powerful truth of who you are in Christ Jesus, uh, uh, heir of God, joint heir with Christ Jesus, a child of God, you're walking that out. And and, and during that, what, what happens is this is sanctification, this sanctification where you, 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 you're you walking out. And, and though th that there's uh, things that's coming against you, uh, uh, what happens, that power, it, 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 the, the power of, uh, of who you are in Christ Jesus, an heir of God, a joint heir with Christ Jesus, that's going to far outweigh the things that are coming against you. So that power that's coming against you ain't going to do nothing because who you are in Christ Jesus. And that's the sanctification. And you come to a realization of who you are in Christ Jesus what you have in Christ Jesus, and, 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 and you're walking that out. So the power of, uh, 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 of your sins is going to diminish because of the power of who you are, what you have in Christ Jesus. Heirs of God, uh, uh, joint heirs with Christ Jesus because you've been because of justification and the sanctification, walking that out, that reality, that truth, that powerful principle, that established truth of who you are in Christ Jesus, what you have in Christ Jesus. And, and, and that is going to the, the, the power that comes against that truth is it, it ain't going uh, because you're being sanctification. It, it, it's not going to hold the, and, and you're walking out. And so this is the apostle Paul says, if so, that, we suffer with him. 
and the, the suffering is when you come to the realization of who you are in Christ Jesus. And if the, if the enemy tries to come with a lie, if some false doctrine comes with a lie, no, you, that that power of, of, of that unbelief, that power of that darkness, that power of of of, of the traditions of men, that power of of, of, even of our sins, it, it, it's not going to hold water because the truth of who you are, Christ Jesus, a uh, 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 joint heir with Christ Jesus, heirs of God, is going to stand. And and, and in that doing that 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 process is sanctification, learning who you are in Christ Jesus, what you have in Christ Jesus. You're being conformed to the image of his dear son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And you're going to be the firstborn among many veterans. And that's that sanctification that comes after the justification. And then watch this. Then the, uh, the apostle Paul says that we may be also glorified together. And this speaks about when we get the, the, the glorification when we get now this new body, a uh, 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 new body, uh, 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 and, and the apostle Paul put it this way so beautifully in Philippians chapter three. And if we turn there, <laughs> praise the Lord. And if we turn there and look at this, or uh, how it glorified together. And in the third chapter of the book of Philippians, he closes this with saying this: Who shall change our vile body? Who shall change our vow by that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body? And his glorious body that he's speaking about, it's God that's going to change our vow body into, and it's going to be fashioned to his glorious body, the, the glorious body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, according to the working whereby he, our Abba Father, who, when we believe on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and we went through justification and, 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 uh, from the penalties of all our sins, we're, we're heirs of God, joint heirs with Christ Jesus, uh, and, 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 and when we go through sanctification, when we come to realization and renewing of our mind and who we are in Christ Jesus, what we have in Christ Jesus, and then when we come to this next uh, level of, uh, of truth, that, that the, the glorification who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working whereby our Abba Father is able even to subdue all things unto himself through his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord! May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord stay shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his country. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in inheritance to those who sanctify in the precious name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And after him that is able to keep you from fall, present you for the presence of his God. Oh, glory, majesty, dominion, power now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. I had to do a praise the Lord dance, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Justification, sanctification, <laughs> and glorification. How sweet it is. <laughs> praise the Lord. God bless. <laughs> God bless. <laughs>